Hi friends, this is Nitin Kulkarni from Xmetric Solutions. In this video training of F5 Big IP LTM configuration, we are going to learn how to configure and verify virtual server and pools. So let us start. The lab objective of this training is understanding the lab setup, documenting virtual server pools and member server details, configuring pools for internal web servers, configuring virtual servers and associating them with a pool and finally verifying functionality uh, testing and verification. So the lab which we have set here is uh, this is the lab. So this is a server 1 whose IP address is 172.16.10.11 hosting two services 80 and 443. In this part 1 we are going to concentrate only on the port 80. Server 2 172.16.10.12 port 80 and server 3 172.16.10.13 port 80. So these are the three servers which we are going to use for the load balancing and those are connected to the internal VLAN. This is the F5 Big IP LTM local traffic manager box whose interface 1.1 .1 is connected to the internal VLAN whose self IP will be 172.16.10.2 and floating IP will be 172.16.10.1 the interface 1.2 is connected to the external VLAN whose self IP is 100.100.100.2 and floating IP is 100.100.100.1 Ethernet 0 which is a management port whose IP is 192.168.10.245 and uh, management PC is connected to that port whose IP is 192.168.10.10 so from this PC we are going to access the F5 through the GUI these are the two uh, uh, internet users whose IP address will be 100.100.100.11 and 100.12 so these two are acting as the external users who are accessing our virtual servers through the internet cloud now what we need to configure is basically virtual server and the pool now let us prepare the configuration worksheet what exactly we want to achieve so virtual server the name of the virtual server which we, we are going to use it vs underscore http underscore nitin you can give the any name but it should be uh, you know as per the best practice we should understand uh, the name I uh, mean uh, see vs uh, says it's virtual server HTTP says uh, we are doing it for HTTP protocol and uh, Nitin says like it's a project description it is for the project Nitin or for Nitin so virtual server name will be vs underscore HTTP underscore Nitin virtual IP on which your internet traffic is coming so LTM will be listening on this virtual IP 100.100.100.111 and port will be 80 pool name again pl underscore http underscore nitin member 1 which is a uh, server number 1 will be 172.16.10.11 port 80 172.16.10.12 port 80 and 10.13 port 80 so these three servers we are using for the load balancing so we have configured these three servers in a pool and this pool we are going to associate with this virtual server so any request from the outside coming to this virtual IP 100.100.111 it should go to 10.11 12 and 13 as per the load balancing method which we will define so here is the scenario from this machine 100.11 we will access virtual IP that is 100.100.100.111 on port 80 and this F5 will do a load balancing as per the pool members to the member 1, member 2, member 3. First request should go to the 10.11, second request should go to the 10.12, third request will go to the 10.13 and fourth request will again go to the 10.11. So uh, let us start the configuring F5 box. Let me log into the box. Admin, admin is the default username and password. It's default one. Go to the local traffic section and uh, there are pools you can see there are no pools are configured and virtual servers 
there were no virtual servers so pools let me create the pool pl underscore http underscore nothing we are going to keep all the things default we we'll learn these things in the next upcoming videos load balancing method round robin which is the default one will keep as it is and the new members so the member servers will add 172.16.10.11 will be listening on port number 80 so add so this is my first server 12 this is second server and 13 will be my third server so these are the three servers which we are going to use finished cool so we have created the pool now we will create the virtual server local traffic virtual server section click on the create and there will be a name vs underscore http underscore nothing you can give any name but as i said it should be a proper name as per the best practices the destination that is virtual ip on which this fi is uh, will keep listening so 100.100.100.111 will be a public ip which will be listening on port number 80 we'll keep all these things default uh, we'll see later now the default pool will assign the pool which we created in the earlier slides finished so we have created the pool you can go to the network map show map and here we'll see the full map all the virtual server pools we will we can see in a single window that is in the network map now click on the pool in this pool you can go to the statistics and you can see the statistics of the pool so uh, there are zero connections right now now we'll try to generate some traffic let us try to access 100.100.100.11 from the outside machine that is internet user now let me access http let me open a private browsing so that the cookies will not impact http colon slash slash hundred dot hundred dot hundred dot one 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 so this is my first http request to the virtual ip and we are landed on to the server number one which is one zero two sixteen ten dot eleven let us verify refresh and you can see that the first request has gone to the server number one now the second request should go to the server number two let us verify it let me close this window http colon slash slash hundred dot hundred dot hundred dot one 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 now we landed on to the server number two second request a third request http colon slash slash hundred dot hundred dot hundred dot one 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 now we are landed into the server number three so load as per the load balancing round robin it is working perfect just under the statistics refresh the page and you can see one request this is the second request and this is the third request now the fourth request should again go to the server number one let us verify it http colon slash slash hundred dot hundred dot hundred dot one 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 now we are again landed onto the server number one let us verify it refresh and yes now this is the second request uh, fourth request which are going on the server number one the fifth request will go to the next server and so on so this is the load balancing uh, round robin load balancing and this is the lab which shows uh, how to create the virtual server pools and how to associate them with each other I would like to thank you for viewing this video. Thank you.